Thirty Pumi facts every owner should know. Number one, a compact, nimble-footed teddy bear of a dog. The Pumi is a charming small to medium-sized breed with a square-shaped body and well-proportioned build. Male Pumis typically measure 16 to 19 inches at the withers and weigh 27 to 29 pounds, while females stand at 15 to 18 inches and weigh 22 to 24 pounds. Number two, the Pumi boasts a relatively long snout, constituting about 40 to 50 percent of the head's length. With a slight stop on the face, the dog exhibits medium-sized, dark brown eyes that are moderately spaced apart, contributing to its lively and intelligent expression. Number 3. These dogs have ears that are set high, of medium size, and mostly stand up, with the tips pointing a bit to the sides. Their ears, covered with hair, create a playful look and can swiftly react and move in response to any stimulation. Number 4. The breed boasts a unique coat characterized by a blend of wavy and curly hair forming curls all over its body. This distinctive coat comprises both rough and soft hair, protruding around 1.5 to 3 inches from the body and is groomed by stripping and trimming. Number 5. Their fur comes in diverse colors like gray, fawn, black, and occasionally cream, giving them a unique appearance. A University of Debrecen study on 1,023 Pumi puppies found that 56% were born black and turned gray, 14% were black, 13% white, 11% gray, and 4% were fawn-colored. Brown, mottled, or blue merle coats are also observed occasionally. Number 6. The Pumi's tail, which may be either straight or slightly curved, is usually carried direct, adding to the dog's overall balance and grace. Positioned high, the tail forms a complete circle from the base to the tip, resting just atop the back. However, when relaxed, it may hang down. Number 7. This dog exhibits a light and spirited gait, moving with a lively and brisk walk, demonstrating abundant energy and efficiency while being capable of swift turns. With a head and tail held high, the legs move in a straight line when observed from the front or rear and draw closer together as they increase speed. Number 8. As per the AKC standard, a Pumi will face disqualification if its height deviates by half an inch above or below the desired range or if its ears are either pricked or hanging. Pumis with multiple colors or patches, such as black and tan, piebald, or party-colored coats, are also not permitted as per the breed standard. Number 9. A highly intelligent dog, the Pumi, quickly picks up new tricks and techniques. However, having been bred as independent herding dogs, they can occasionally seem stubborn and strong-willed. As such, you might notice your Pumi ignoring commands when they're not in the mood. Number 10. Pumis are quite vocal and incredibly expressive in their communication, often relaying messages through barks, whines, and howls. When bored, they tend to bark up a storm, so keeping them occupied is important to avoid potential visits from the neighbors. Number 11. While their vocal nature might result in frequent complaints from neighbors, it's this very characteristic that makes Pumis exceptional watch dogs. Highly alert, these dogs promptly sound the alarm at the slightest hint of trouble, ensuring your safety by alerting you to potential harm. Number 12. With proper socialization, Pumis usually coexist well with other pets. Although their prey drive might be sparked by small animals like cats or rodents, if raised together, this inclination tends to be less troublesome. As natural herders, these dogs are more likely to herd other animals rather than give chase. Number 13. The Pumis' herding instinct is not limited to other animals. They'll attempt to herd anything they consider part of their pack, from small children to large vehicles. They'll try to manage them all. To prevent potential accidents, you gotta keep them on a leash when outside, ensuring their safety and that of those around them. Number 14. As a highly curious dog, the Pumi is also famous for its escape artist skills. With a penchant for chasing smaller animals, they might wander off if left unsupervised. So to prevent any accidents and ensure their safety, you gotta securely fence off your yard. Number 15. The Pumi stands out as an excellent contender in the realm of sports, particularly in agility and herding competitions. These dogs also enjoy a good round of fetch and exhibit remarkable swimming abilities. Number 16. These herding dogs thrive in the company of people and their herd. They adore attention and having a purpose, so leaving them alone with stimulation prompts them to seek their own entertainment, likely leading to destructive behaviors you might not appreciate. Number 17. With an average lifespan of 12 to 13 years, the Pumi is generally a healthy breed, offering a lifetime of companionship. To ensure they live a longer and more fulfilling life, you gotta shower them with plenty of affection and care consistently. 
Number 18. Pygmies are typically considered a healthy breed, possibly due to less overbreeding compared to some other purebred dogs. However, like any other breed, they do face a few common genetic health concerns, including elbow and hip dysplasia, patellar luxation, degenerative myelopathy, and eye disorders. Number 19. Hungary has three native herding breeds, the Puli, the Moody, and the Pumi. Among them, the Puli is considered the oldest and is believed to have been mixed with different herding dogs and terriers from France and Germany. This blending of breeds ultimately resulted in the creation of the Pumi. Number 20. The Pumi's lineage expands beyond Hungarian and European dogs, reaching into various herding and guarding breeds from China and Tibet. The breeding pool likely included dogs such as the Tibetan Terrier, also recognized as the Sang Apso, contributing to the Pumi's ancestry. Number 21. The term Pumi was first used in 1815 to refer to these dogs, yet during that period, many viewed them as a regional variation of the Puli. It wasn't until the 20th century that both the Pumi and Puli were officially recognized as separate breeds. Number 22. In 1921, Hungarian dog breeder Dr. Emil Reisetz played a pivotal role by officially defining a particular breed. Concerned about the confusion surrounding names and types of Hungarian herding dogs, Dr. Reisetz took the initiative to establish precise definitions, distinctions, and standards for these sheep dogs. Number 23. In 1921, Dr. Emil Reitzitz created the Pumi breed standard, calling it a sheepdog terrier. And by 1935, the FCI approved the standard, crucial for distinguishing the Pumi from related breeds like the Puli. It emphasized the Pumi's unique traits, which included a longer muscle, smoother stop line, upright folding ears, and an uncorded coat. Number 24. In Hungary, the Pumi is lovingly referred to as Bohuats, meaning the clown in Magyar. This nickname highlights their playful nature that endures into adulthood, showcased by their comical, tufted, expressive ears. The name reflects the Pumi's joyful spirit, loyalty, and knack for spreading cheer and laughter among those around them. Number 25. In 2016, the Hungarian government designated the Pumi as one of its eight indigenous dog breeds, establishing a gene bank to preserve its unique traits and pledging support for breeding at Hungarian National Breeding Centers. This just goes to show how beloved the breed is in its homeland. Number 26. The breed almost faced extinction during both world wars, encountering food shortages and insufficient veterinary care that caused a decline in their population. But despite these challenges, numerous dog enthusiasts endeavored to safeguard the breed, preserving vital documents even amidst the turmoil of wartime. Number 27. In 2004, the Pumi entered the American Kennel Club Foundation Stock Service alongside the establishment of the Hungarian Pumi Club of America. By the 1st of January 2011, securing 150 registrations in the US, the Pumi advanced to the AKC Miscellaneous class. And on 1st of July 2016, surpassing 300 registered dogs, they gained recognition as the 190th breed within the herding group. Number 28. These dogs hold a special place in the hearts of people globally, but due to their rarity, they haven't gained widespread fame in the US. Pumis ranked 140th among 199 dog breeds in the United States, based on total registrations recorded by the American Kennel Club, which shows their relatively lower presence in the country. Number 29. Originating as Hungarian herding dogs, primarily working with sheep, Pumis now engage in diverse activities like dog agility, obedience, and even tasks involving detection and search and rescue. Their innate herding instincts also shine in non-competitive herding events, which showcases their natural abilities and trainability. Number 30. A relatively rare breed, locating Pumi dogs and reputable breeders in the United States can be challenging, resulting in higher prices for a new puppy, usually ranging from $2,000 to $3,000. Keep in mind that this cost does not include yearly maintenance expenses, which can total an additional $1,000 to $1,500. Alright guys, now which of these Pumi facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.